Why are people pissed over Sabrina Carpenter's latest video? It might even cost a priest his job. And billionaires fight back against Trump. What? Plus 60 second headlines right now on Notice News. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Springer and this is Notice News, your daily news update on YouTube. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell to stay updated. You might have seen the music video for Sabrina Carpenter's hit song, Feather. It shows the up and coming pop superstar taking selfies at a gym while guys behind her duke it out and shows her slyly killing a guy in an elevator for taking a picture of her ass. That's not what has people enraged though, it's this. Scenes inside a church with Sabrina dressed in a short black dress and veil, dancing around pastel colored coffins, one reading RIP bitch. But here's the thing, that's not some soundstage in Hollywood. That's a real Catholic church in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is actually just down the street from our office. After seeing the video, the Catholic church said it was quote, appalled at what it saw. The diocese says that the church's priest gave permission to Sabrina's team to film, but didn't follow proper procedure and never reviewed the script. The priest says he Googled her and when he didn't find out anything negative about her, guess he's not an Olivia Rodrigo fan, he gave her the go ahead in an attempt to quote, strengthen the bond between the church and young creatives in Brooklyn. But now the New York Times is reporting that the priest has been stripped of his administrative duties and a special church service was held, a mass of reparation to quote, restore the sanctity of the church and repair the harm done by the video. Seriously, these guys protected thousands of child for decades, but jumped right on this. Great job. Jesus would be proud. Now, this isn't the first time a music video in a church has caused controversy. Madonna's 1989 Like a Prayer saw that pop superstar making out in the pews of a church with a black Jesus in between scenes of her dancing in front of burning crosses. That video drew Madonna a rebuke from the Pope. Unsurprisingly, this has generated a lot of buzz on social media, with a lot of people pointing out the hypocrisy of the church. Lala Karras wrote, so a music video is where they draw the line? Jay was more direct, but what about the pedophilia? Others called the video disgusting and pointed out that other religions wouldn't accept this either. Victor wrote, sounds about right. You can't try this nonsense near a mosque. But I want to know what you think. Did Sabrina go too far with this video? Should the priest be punished like this? Or should the church just lighten up and be glad a young person is even willing to step foot in a church? Let me know in the comments below. Moving on, can anybody stop Donald Trump from getting the Republican nomination? Well, the billionaire Koch brothers are making their bet and they're backing Nikki Haley. Yesterday, their corporate fascist group, Americans for Prosperity, said it was endorsing the former South Carolina governor and UN ambassador. The New York Times says that that will give Haley a much needed financial and organizational boost. Haley is constantly polling in third place behind Florida governor Ron DeSantis and of course behind Donald Trump, who is on average nearly 50 points ahead of everybody else. Why are we even talking about this story? This story highlights just how concerned corporate elites are with the baggage that Trump will bring with him into next year's election. Okay, I get it. They are terrified that the 91 felony criminal charges against him for things like revealing state secrets or inciting a coup against our democracy might actually hurt his chances of winning and that could hurt their pro-corporate agenda. For the past 40 years, the Koch brothers who made billions of dollars in the oil industry, have worked to elect neo-fascist candidates that share their ideology against taxes, regulations, and climate change, anything that might hurt their bottom line. In announcing their choice to back Haley, the Koch brothers said she could win independent voters that they say Trump has, quote, no chance of winning. But make no mistake, Nikki Haley is not a moderate. She vigorously opposes access to safe abortion health care, while strongly supporting Trump's evil immigration policies that put children in cages. But most importantly to the Koch brothers, she'll continue to weaken the government, the only institution that you and I have a say in, so it can't be a threat to them raking in billions and billions of dollars. All right, let's get a timer going for 60 second headlines. More than 15,000 people have already been killed in Israel's assault on the Gaza Strip, 
most of them women and children. But now, the World Health Organization is warning that more people could die from disease than bombs if Gaza's health system is not repaired. 26 of the 36 hospitals in Gaza are currently shut down due to lack of fuel or because they were destroyed by Israeli bombs. The UAE is set to host the UN's upcoming annual climate change conference, but Wait for it. They're apparently using their role as hosts to strike new oil and gas deals, according to the BBC. And finally, Beyonce's mom is pissed. Miss Tina Knowles took to Instagram in a rare, lengthy post to slam critics who were criticizing Beyonce's look at the Renaissance film premiere, accusing her of lightening her skin. She accused, quote, bozos of perpetuating racism, sexism, and double standards. Your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. If you want to find out more about something I covered, links to sources and references are down below in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe to get notice news here on YouTube and go follow us on Snapchat and TikTok. I'll see you right back here tomorrow.